yo so i'm back from rampage and i got a whole bunch of broken gear and i gotta replace a capacitor on my drone i figured why not make a video about how to replace a capacitor so that's what we're gonna do i'm gonna dive into it right now So the capacitor is usually attached at the ESC. And you're gonna wanna use one if you're doing a 6S build, which most boards come with a cap these days. Wasn't always the case, but that's the case now. So this, uh, this ESC specifically has VBAT ports on each corner. So right here, that's my capacitor, positive and negative. So we're gonna undo that. You're gonna need a really hot iron. So I just like to set it to max. Always clean the tip. Always clean the tip. See how easy that is? That's the uninstall. That's the basic construction cap, couple wires so that you can install this anywhere you need and a little heat shrink to protect it. Very, very simple. Um, I need motor wire. I need some motor wire. All right, so I need a little motor wire, which I mean, if I had more time, I would color code it, but uh, I don't really care. Um, just clip it off a burned motor. I'm sure you guys, you guys have some, if you've been in FPV long enough, or even if you've been in it for a week, you probably already smoked some stuff. Our new cap, All right? So this is a low ESR capacitor. I think this came with my ESC. Um, I'll put a link down in the description for something similar, if not this exact one. This is a, 470 rated up to 50 volts. So um, it's always good to go a little higher on the voltage because if you get something that's at like 26 volts and you're running 6, 6S, it's just like a little close, closer than what it needs to be. Um, so I just like to cut these leads down a little bit and have them bent on the sides. That way there's no chance that they ever touch. It's just nice and clean. end up with this nice little doodad and we'll get a little heat shrink on this and then we'll wire it up pretty simple right I usually pinch it off and then I'll just cut this a little bit. Um, but you want to do it so that you have enough tubing in between just on those top leads. So just do a little small trim, keep it nice and tidy. This thing, now this is a FetTech product, but I think there's other companies that make it. It's called a spike absorber and uses these like TVS diodes to essentially cut off the voltage at a certain point. So like the capacitor is used to smooth the electricity out and kind of clean the signal. What this will do is it prevents anything from, I believe it's like 25 volts, 26 volts. Uh, it will just cut that off right at the top so that it never hits your electronics. Um, and they recommend that you use it with their ESC. But like ever since I got this, um, I've just started putting it on all my gear. So I'm also going to put a link down below so you can get it and see for yourself. 
there's other companies as well that make them. I haven't used them. I've only used this company and they've, I've never had a bad one. These are all the original ones. I have all original ones on all my quads. Got everything ready. Now I like to tuck it in on the side here with some zip ties just for convenience. And these wires, because once they go around the standoffs, um, they're a little long. So I'm just going to trim this down a hair. This is crucial on the cat. It shows very clearly negative. It's right there. It's usually in a different color. This one is gray and it shows a couple minus signs. Make sure that you do not reverse this because the cap will blow in your face and you'll have a bad time. So for me, negative is on the left. Positive is on the right. That's it. All right, so now we got our loosey-goosey guy. I'm just gonna tuck it in, throw a couple zip ties on it, and call it. All right, so we've got it installed. Two zip ties, keeps it nice and tight. Also, sometimes these break, so always have a redundant one so that it's not dangling it during uh, a crash or anything, it, it won't chop. Uh, I have it routing around the standoff, and then it goes to the positive and negative pads here. If you have an ESC, which you most likely won't have these pads, you would just attach it to the tops of the XT60. I have pads on each corner, so this goes directly to the front pad, because I just tuck it behind the camera, and it's actually very simple. Same thing, motor wires, a little heat and trick tubing, and it just kind of sits like this vertical. And because I have some other stuff going on back here, it kind of just is on its own pretty tight. Um, never had a problem with this falling out or getting chopped or anything. Again, these are the original ones on my quads. Um, so take it for what it's worth. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you found it to be helpful. I think it's pretty easy to install a capacitor. I hope that's evident. I think the convenience and the durability of doing it this way is well worth it. Um, I can fix it, replace it, store it wherever I want. If you direct solder to the board, you risk it breaking off in a crash. And if you fly like me, uh, you know I crash a lot and I bash my stuff. So um, doing it this way just makes things a lot more convenient. And um, I haven't had a problem yet. so been doing this for a little bit. I like it this way and that's how it's going to be done. Um, anyway, if you like the video, please like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what kind of video you want to see next in terms of repair stuff or freestyle. I don't know. Just uh, hit me up. Let's hang in the chat. Um, also, last thing on that spike absorber, I also think it's well worth it. It's such a cheap investment. Like I said, they last forever and it just kind of cuts the voltage off at that point. Um, I don't know. I like my gear. I want it to last a long time, as long as humanly possible. I'm sure you do too. So anyway, I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for hanging out.